So as you know that in the previous video we were reading the inputs from our keyboard okay we were reading the movement input x and y now in this video what we're gonna do is using that movement inputs we will move the player around in the environment all right on the horizontal and vertical axis so as you can see right here the movement input is now in a single vector 2 all right we need this x and y value of this vector 2 in a separate floats and only then we will be able to move the player on the vertical and horizontal axis all right or you can say we will move the player in all directions so let's first of all create a float by the name of vertical input and as you guess it by the name we will store the vertical input in here and then for the horizontal we will just copy paste it and change its name to horizontal after that what we will do is right after the on disable method we will create one more method which will be by the name of handle movement input in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say vertical input equals to the movement input dot y and then the horizontal input will be equals to movement input dot x all right once we have the vertical and horizontal input separate now we are ready to move our player for that right here in the player folder make a new c -sharp script by the name of player movement all right then click on player and just simply drag and drop this script right there then let's open it up in visual studio code remove the start and update methods and at the top we will add a header by the name of script references or just ref because now we need a reference to our input manager script so we will say input manager then input manager after that create another header all right in here we will name this as movement because in here we will store all of the variables related to movement so the first one will be of type vector 3 by the name of move direction then the next will be a transform which will be a reference to our camera object then we will create a reference to a rigid body of our player for now we don't have a reference uh, or you can say we don't have a component rigid body on our player but don't worry we will add it for now just type as what i am typing right here all right so name it as player rigid body then create a public float by the name of movement speed which will be two by default all right then in the awake we will set the reference to our input manager script so we will say input manager equals to get component and the script name is input manager all right and as you can see the script is treated as a component when it is placed on a game object so that's why we say get component and then we type input manager because that will be the component name or you can say the script name and the reason we are using get component is because the input manager and the player movement script are both on the same player game object okay we will do the same for the player rigid body we will say get component and right here we will type rigid body all right once we have this right down below create a method by the name of handle movement all right in here we will say move direction equals to camera object dot forward multiply by input manager 
dot vertical input right let me first of all complete the code then I will tell you what is happening in here of this move direction will be equals to the move direction plus the camera object dot right then multiplied by the input manager dot horizontal input all right then let's make the move direction normal so we will say move direction dot normalize Okay, after that we will make the move direction dot y zero so that the player doesn't move up in the sky while moving and move direction will be equals to move direction multiply by the movement speed. Okay. Then create a vector three by the name of movement velocity it will be equals to the move direction and then the player rigid body dot velocity will be equals to the movement velocity all right so now let me tell you what is happening in here so in the first line right here what we what we are doing is we are calculating the forward movement based on cameras forward direction and vertical input which is the ws or the up down arrow keys all right then right here in the second line what we are doing is we add a horizontal movement based on the camera right direction and horizontal input which is the ad or the left right arrows then in the third line we just simply normalize the direction vector to ensure uniform speed in all direction then after that we set the y component to zero to prevent movement in the vertical or you can say in the up down axis so that the player don't go inside the ground or up in the sky then after that right here what we did is we multiply the direction by the movement speed to apply the player's speed all right then in the last two lines we set the player velocity to the calculated movement direction to move the player all right this is all it's happening in the handle movement method all right once we have the movement the next thing is the rotation all right so in the next video we will add rotation and then after that we will check the whole player movement so see you guys in the next one